Hello and welcome to section 4, Solving Cats versus Dogs. In the previous section, we learned what are and how to train convolutional neural networks from scratch. But we don't always have to train our own models from scratch. We can also use large models that were previously trained by others on big datasets. In this section, we are going to talk about large-scale datasets, ImageNet, and very deep neural networks loading pre-trained models with Diano, and finally, reusing pre-trained models in new applications. Let's just start with large-scale datasets, ImageNet, and very deep neural networks. In this video, we are going to define the cat versus dogs problem, and after that, we'll see how to find a large pre-trained model that we can reuse to solve it. The cat versus dogs, or Microsoft Azure dataset, is a collection of images of pets like the ones we show here. We are looking at a binary classification problem. Here we are going to use the version of the dataset provided on the Kaggle website. As an exercise, I recommend you to modify the convolutional neural network code in section 1 to solve this problem. The images need to be loaded and resized to a common shape. As you will verify with the exercise I just gave you, Training our own models from scratch can take too long and without huge data sets, results may not even be good enough. Here is an alternative to training a model from scratch. First, you find a model that was previously trained on a very large data set, such as the ImageNet. You get this model and then you input your own data and save the outputs from one of the last layers of that model. You consider these outputs as features and then you'll finally learn a classifier on, on these features. I first heard of that idea at the website for the Kaggle Cats vs. Dog competition. So I recommend you to take a look at their forums to learn tricks like those. Let's see why the ImageNet helps. The ImageNet dataset is a terabyte scale dataset with a thousand different classes. As we can see in this figure, the classes vary from several types of food, animals, transportation, objects, and many other things. Several models that were used to solve that problem are available online. Some of those models are called the AlexNet model, which was the first deep learning solution to the ImageNet, Overfeet, written by the person who won the cat vs dog competition, and also one of the ImageNet object detection competitions. There are also the GoogleNet and VGG, which are the most modern solutions. Well, at least by the time we were recording this video, all these models are available in Cafe, the C++ deep learning library. You can try to use them with PyCafe, which is their Python API. You can find several pretend models on these two links. Later in this section, we will see how to use them with Theano. Here's how the AlexNet looks like. It is a seven hidden layer deep neural network. The first five layers are convolutional, followed by pooling layers. The last two are fully connected layers. If we get the results from the very last output layer of the model, we will have the class probabilities that are used for classification. But if we get the outputs from a previous layer, we can use them as representation or features of our input. This way, we can train our own classifiers on top of the network using their representations. People refer to this as chopping off the very last layer of the network and training a new one on top of it using all the previous other layers fixed. In other words, you don't adapt the very first layers, only the top one. I believe you would be impressed by how well this strategy works. The idea is, if you can reduce your problem to an image classification task, the idea that we just gave you is really, really powerful. Here are a few examples. In this first one, by Andre Carpati, posted on his blog as what a deep neural network thinks about your selfie, he used a pre-trained network and images fetched from Facebook to classify them according to the numbers of likes they get. Check his blog for more details. Another really interesting idea is Daniel Nuri's ID Birds Twitter bot. He also reuses an imaginate trained model, but this time to identify species of birds that you take pictures and send to the bot on Twitter. There are many other possible applications for pre-trained deep learning models. 
this is a really good tool to have on your machine learning tool belt. In this video, we defined the cats versus dogs problem and showed where to look for pre-trained models that we can reuse. In the next video, we'll see how to use pre-trained models with the animal 